My room's a mess. My life's a wreck. And, um, yeah, but at least my hair looks pretty nice. Hi, I'm Jade, and today I'm going to show you how I do my wash day routine for these results. Um, I usually hate when people show the results in the beginning of the video, but filming the video, I understand why it's a lot easier. But anyways, these are my results. And this is my current routine. Just filmed it last night. Today is the morning. Don't know why I said that. And hey, before you watch my wash day routine, why don't you go down, like, comment, and subscribe, you know? It'd be helpful if I could make some videos on YouTube uh, that earn me money, then maybe I can do more interesting things, like I can actually start making cosplay videos, because that's expensive. Subscribe, okay, thanks, enjoy the video, bye. Okay, 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 so this is my hair starting off. This was day seven hair, just wetting that girl, letting her get all the water in, because, uh, you know, the, then I'm taking my, uh, uh, as I am dandruff uh, co-wash, the itchy dry scalp co-wash. Um, I like to do this every few weeks because I feel like it keeps my uh, scalp psoriasis under control. So if you have psoriasis or eczema on your hair, I think it's pretty helpful. And I'm just spending a good amount of time massaging my scalp, making sure that I'm getting all the dirt and grime out of it, and uh, all that, and grabbing a little extra wherever I feel like it really needs it. Like I feel like you should apply your co-wash with your fingers because it helps you really feel where it needs it. And then after that, take your massaging scalp brush like I am and, you know, get going. Massage it for at least like two to five minutes. Make sure it feels super clean. Um, usually I listen to music in the shower and I'll just listen to two songs and that's enough for me. So I just rinse that out, get her all out, make beautiful, gorgeous faces, you know, because that's super attractive. Then I'm going to take my um, conditioner. I use the deeper than, uh, or deeper moisture, smoother than silk uh, conditioner from Giovanni. This is my holy grail conditioner. I'm obsessed with it. I literally have, since I've had it, I have not used another one, and my stash is ridiculous. So, um, now I have a bunch of conditioners I don't need, and I'm just squishing that in, making sure all of the knotty areas are really getting that conditioner in them so they're ready for when they're going to be detangled. I just put that up and let that sit while I do all the rest of my shower stuff, and then I take it down, and it's time to detangle. Uh, I'll do a little bit of finger detangling, but sometimes I'll either take a wet brush, or if I forget my wet brush like I did this day, I'll take my massaging scalp brush, and honestly, the vibrations from the scalp brush really detangle my hair super easy without much effort at all. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing that, making sure all of my knots and tangles are out, because again, this is day seven, so definitely need to, you know, give her a full, full brush through. Now this is the hairball I had after detangling, so not very much. Um, I compact it so I can see how it is and I just rinse my hair out. After that, I add my Holy Grail Believe In Gel. I swear this is a miracle worker, um, and I don't, I don't skip a wash where I don't use it. Does that make sense? Probably not. Then I take my Cantu Curl Activator Cream. I prefer things in a pump bottle, so I move it in there. Um, and then I add some neutral protein filler. On top of that, at least a few sprays. I think I should have used a bit more because I did end up having over moisturized hair at the end of this wash day. But I also skipped my uh, protein deep conditioner this month. So definitely next wash, I'm going to do that. So the results are a little iffy, but that's where I went wrong. I didn't put enough neutral protein filler and or I didn't do my uh, protein deep conditioner. So, uh, you know, there's that. Um, and I'm just really squishing in the products and squishing out any excess product. While there's water in my hair, the wa the product will only take as much, my hair will only take as much product as it needs. So I will brush through and scrunch very hard to squish out all the excess product. And I will flip it from side to side, making sure it's not sticking to the my scalp or anything and I'm really squishing hard here. You can see the product dripping through my fingers and that's what I really look for to make sure I'm not putting too much product in my hair. 
really getting out all that excess. Now I'm in my room, um, annoyed obviously, and this I just recently added. I've been adding uh, aloe vera to my routine. Um, I've been doing the one, two, three gel method, my first gel being the Believe In, and then aloe vera gel is my second gel. And I just uh, praying hands that and then squish the ever-loving uh, goodness out of my curls. And um, it really adds some moisture, so there ends up being a lot of um, liquid in my hair. So I just squish and squeeze until like all the excess water falls out. After that, I take one pump of orange marmalade, orange marmalade per side of my hair. Um, one for each side, one for the back, and one for the front. And I feel like that's a good amount for me. Some people have a bad reaction with this if they use even more than half a pump. So if you're using orange marmalade, experiment with it. Don't say that it's bad uh, before you've had a chance to give it a real go. Um, but yeah, I'm just really scrunching here. My hair really prefers uh, a lot of scrunching and uh, a lot of agitation. I like smaller clumps, my hair ends up looking better. So now I'm finding my part. This is where in my routine I pick my part. Um, after I put in gel, some people think that's insane, but it's what works for me. And if you've heard of people using the Denman brush to finger uh, curl their hair, I do that, but I do it with a small boar bristle brush. I feel like it gives my uh, curls a smoother finish on top and I only do this for the crown of my head. I just smooth out the hairs and wrap it around um, the wood handle of the brush in the direction my hair naturally falls. So yeah, right now it, it, it can be difficult sometimes and I've just added this because I realized that it really works for my hair. So this is something I've been doing every wash day lately as it really adds some definition to the top which I lack because I have cherub curls which means curls that don't really start curling until about four or five inches from the root. So this helps add a little more definition and curl to the root area and helps me get more volume. So I'm just going to do that um, along the top and the both side sections like right next to my ears. I make sure to do that. Oh look it, there's my foster cat Mizu. Hey girl! She's looking real cute. She licked my elbow. Um, and I will just wet my hair if the sections like are having a hard time being brushed through. I just wet my hair and keep going. Or I'll use another brush to detangle if the area isn't quite doing what I want. And here I am uh, just doing my bangs. And really you have to follow the direction your curls want to go. Don't go against your curls. Your curls will fall so quickly if you do that. Now I'm just re-wetting everything so I can scrunch it and set the style and make sure each curl is exactly how it needs to be. Um, and this is my go-to way of, you know, really defining my curl. And I'll diffuse right after this to about 50%, which is what is seen here. This is 50% dry and then I let it air dry the rest of the way. So I filmed my whole wash routine last night and I was going to film like the whole scrunching out the crunch and styling but it was late and my hair took longer to dry than usual it's probably because it's transitioning from summer to fall so your hair takes longer to dry it's just how it is so all I did was put um, the top like third of my hair like this section right here into a pineapple and the rest I tucked into my satin bonnet um, usually that keeps my curls looking decent for five days and then I can still get two more days out of it um, I usually wash once a week so you know so this is day two hair because I have slept in it. I haven't like shaken it out or anything so I'm gonna do that on camera. Also excuse my uh, fashion, I'm trying to be cute like my favorite Instagram and YouTube person Rachel Ma Maxi, uh, but I don't look as cute as her. I can't pull off some style she can, let's just say that. But I'm trying. Wearing a sweater vest. Hopefully it's cute. Anyway, I'm just gonna shake this out on camera. There's a mirror over here. I prefer my hair.
There's like one curl that I think it was still damp when I put it in the pineapple, so it's just like, do you see this? This is, yep, you can see it right there. <laughs> so we're just gonna tuck that down. And then every once in a while, my bangs will do this where it just like has this amazing Superman curl. But um, we're gonna pull her apart and stick her to the side maybe. I don't want to disturb her too much so uh, my hair can last a week because I really hate washing my hair more than once a week. It's too much of a hassle. This is the results. Um, I feel pretty cute. I am. I, I need a little bit more protein because some of these pieces are stretched out but then again I don't know if that's because I, I went to sleep with it damp so they might not come to life till I refresh. But um, this has been my full wash day routine. I will put a full list of the products I used um, in the comments below not the comments, the description box below. That way, if you guys have a similar hair type to me, maybe you can try those out and they'll work for you. Something that may be helpful, I am high porosity. I have medium density and medium uh, texture. Like, I don't have thin hair, but it's not thick. It's like in the middle. So. Hopefully that helps, but I do have naturally high porosity. Even when I don't dye my hair, I do have naturally high porosity. So that's a thing, but I think my hair looks pretty good. I can't fully see. I feel like there's a weird curl over here somewhere. Probably just, a lot of it's just tucking your hair in. But yeah, I hope this video was helpful. I have been getting some questions about my previous uh, wash day routine video and that one's so outdated I did that when I first started the curly girl method and now I've been doing it for a year and like three months almost I found out more what my hair likes and what works for my hair and I found like all my holy grail products so if you want to see my holy girl holy grail products let me know down below but yeah I also didn't film my diffusing in this video I just didn't think it was necessary and it would take too long so let me know um, if you'd want to see how I diffuse. I don't feel like it's that special, but maybe it'll help somebody. It really helps me get volume even on day one, and my curls last for a week, like I said. I usually have to refresh around day four, but then it's still pretty good. Still pretty good, I think. Maybe it's not good. Maybe you guys think my hair's hideous, which is a possibility. I mean, like, it might not float your boat, but it tickles my pickle. So, um... Yeah, I think that's it. Let me know if there's any videos you want to see. I'd love to do videos explaining specific things because those I can film and upload quickly. I've been working a lot on my sewing videos, but I've been working on this one video for months and it's just a lot of work. A lot more work and time than I thought it would be. And I need to get out of the mindset that I have to post like a hair weight loss sewing like in order or whatever so I'm just gonna post whatever is the quickest and hopefully that works I have been missing doing my videos and everything but I have been going through a small depression I'm fine like I'm okay like don't worry about me you girls living so let me know if there's anything you'd like me to make a video on um, that is very focused because I feel when I do a broad video with like a lot of stuff in it, it ends up not getting posted quick enough because it's too much to go through at once and I want to make sure it's very clear. I'm going to school to be a professor so I, I try and make things as clear as possible so I won't post them until I think they're perfect and even then I'm usually it's not perfect. Yeah like if there's specific instructional sewing videos or if there's specific curly hair instructional videos or anything you know like anything you think I can help you with, I'm your girl. I'll be your teacher, fam. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and um, you know, tell me what you think and how I can improve. Love you guys so much. See you next time. Bye. I hate when cats do that, like perch where they're about to pounce, and then you're like, "Fuck, what are you gonna? What are you gonna jump on, boy?" Oh my god. Me too. No, hey. Stop it, or Jesus Christ is gonna compel you. <sighs> tell me why my foster cat is chewing on a cross. Demon.